I'm sure you already know how important pin titles and descriptions are to your pins as far as getting visibility to your content. Well, I'm here today to let you know that the boards you pin your pin to are just as important for that visibility. So pinning your pins to a board that has a great SEO optimized title and description is always going to be better than pinning your pins to a board that doesn't have that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create an SEO optimized board on your account. And then we are going to pin a brand new pin to it. So if you're just joining me today, my name is Jen Tokenyuk, your digital CEO, and this is day four of our Pinterest reboot. So on the first three days, what we did was we created a pin, we created an SEO optimized description, and then we also embedded that pin using HTML on our blogs. So today we're going to create that brand new board to be able to pin the pin to and help it get maximum visibility from Pinterest. So first thing we're going to do is you want to be on your own account and we're going to go down and click boards. Okay. So one thing I want you to notice is that I do have board covers on most of my main boards and board covers. If you're going to create them, which I highly recommend, um, they're, they're square, <laughs> which seems totally wrong for Pinterest since all of the images on Pinterest are supposed to be in that two thirds image dimension. Um, they want square for your board covers. So if you're going to be creating them in Canva, just use the Instagram template because it is a large square pretty image. You want to make sure that your board covers are branded to your account. So you want to make sure that you're using your, you know, typical fonts and colors uh, and keep them real clean. You don't want them to be real messy looking. So just a few words and, you know, something kind of cute in the background and, and you're good to go. When you go to upload them, I'm going to show you where to do that, but I highly recommend that you create board covers for your main boards. If you don't have board covers, let me scroll down to the bottom. I'll show you what a board looks like that doesn't have a board cover. It looks like this and it's constantly changing. It just looks kind of messy and not as professional. So if you want to have a really good user experience for, you know, people visiting your account and you want to look really professional, create board covers. So now we are going to create a board. Okay. Now on day two, we researched, um, a lot of keywords and hashtags. So what I want you to do is keep those keywords and hashtags in mind. So whatever your keywords were on day two for the brand new pin we created, I want you to use those as your board name. So my new board is going to be Pinterest tips for bloggers. Okay. And you don't want to click the visibility. Uh, we don't want this to be a secret board. Secret boards are amazing for stuff that doesn't fit the niche of your account. Um, you know, I'm celiac, so I pin a lot of gluten-free recipes. I pin a lot of crochet patterns. I pin stuff for my kitchen, but that's not in the niche that my account is in. And it can actually hurt my account if I start pinning willy nilly. Pinterest will get really confused as to what my account is about and limit my visibility until it can figure it out. So you don't want to do that. So here we go. We're going to create this board. Now, when we create the board, we're going to use, like I said, a lot of the description from the other day. So for example, Pinterest tips for bloggers. I can just pull this because I know that this is an SEO optimized description that I used the other day. And let's see why it's not showing me my new board. There we go. Okay. So it's asking me to save some pins to my new board. I'm not going to do this right now because I'm going to show you how I normally do it. So go up to the little pencil and we're going to edit this board. So in the description, I'm going to add a lot of the keywords that I used the other day. Now we don't want to use hashtags here. They don't get it any extra visibility and you may as well use the space to put in more great sentences that will actually 
help that board get more visibility because Pinterest tips for bloggers is going to have stuff to do with traffic. It's going to have stuff to do with social media. It's going to have stuff to do with HTML code. So I can put that in there as well because you can put a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Now we also want to make sure that you make a category for your board. Uh, this is really important because again, it teaches Pinterest what it's about. Now, if you're blogging about blogging like I do, you're going to be in the education niche. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of stuff here, health and fitness, you know, technology, you name it. But if you're a blogger about blogging like I am or Pinterest or teaching people how to get more traffic online, you want to use education. Again, this is not a secret board. <laughs> And um, we don't want any collaborators, but if you did want to make this into a group board, you could start adding people from here. Okay. So let's see, we're going to save this board. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go find some pins to actually go on this board. Okay. So I'm not quite sure why this is handing me these options. So I'm going to go find my own. So I'm going to type in Pinterest tips for bloggers because I want the top pins for that on my board. Okay. And I know it may seem totally counterproductive to be pinning other people's pins on your board, but it's not because the goal here is to teach Hold on, Pinterest tips for bloggers. Let me do this as quickly as I can while I'm still talking to you. But we want to teach Pinterest as fast as we can what our new board is about. Okay. So it is about Pinterest tips for bloggers. So the best way to do that is to go find the top pins that Pinterest already thinks are the best pins for this topic. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm going to save, I don't know, a, anywhere between 10 and 20 of these top pins obviously skip the promoted ones because they have nothing to do with you so pinterest tips for bloggers and then also just make sure that they're actually about pinterest um, this is another promoted pin which is why it doesn't say pinterest on it but um you want to make sure that pinterest fabulous all right I'm seeing some of my friends in here which is always nice uh, but you want to go ahead and pin about, you know, 10 to 20 pins. It's totally up to you. Um, again, <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking, why in the world am I pinning other people's stuff? This is why. And trust me, it'll all end up getting buried in there later. So um, it's not going to hurt your visibility at all. So here we go. I've pinned quite a few. Uh, this looks like a good one. Ooh, and that one over there is really pretty too. So might be somewhere in there. Let's see. All right. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. One more. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our board. Okay. So go to your profile. We want to go back to that board, which now is going to be up at the top, which is not where I want it. I'm going to show you how to move that. And now we can go back here refresh it because it's so new it doesn't know what I just did <laughs> always know you can refresh it and now we've got some pins here at least 10 of them oh even more than that on my new board which is great and I don't know why it keeps trying to fill in my email address up here I'll have to mess with that on Chrome later but now we have this now we can go and we can pin our new pin hooray okay so we are going to create a pin. Oh, no, actually, we're so not. We're going <laughs> to we're going to pin from our blog. So uh, go ahead and I want you to head over to your blog. I'm going to head over to mine. And I want you to go to the post where we just embedded that pin. So why don't I do this one? So let's pretend that this is the pin that I just did. Okay. So I'm going to go here and let's pick one. Okay. I have quite a few pin images that I can choose here, but I'm going to pick this one. So go ahead. If, if you've put in the HTML code and, and followed all the other steps, you're good to go here. So just hit save 
Okay, you'll see that my pin description was down there. There it is. So this is what we put in with HTML code. It's sitting there, it's all good to go. We're gonna put this on Pinterest tips for bloggers. And hurrah. Half the time I click see it now and it doesn't show it to me. So just go back over to Pinterest and we'll go back. All right, and we're gonna refresh because I need to see that pin. Because now we're gonna add our title. <laughs> Okay, there it is. All right, hit the little pencil and see how this, all my hashtags are in there. Everything that we put in with the HTML code on our blog is here. And now I am just going to best practices for 2020. Yay. Okay. And then it should have our URL in there and we are all good. Okay. So now we have a brand new board that is optimized and we have our pin on it along with other pins that are going to teach Pinterest what this board and what our pin is about. So I hope you're as excited as I am. I can't wait to see what you guys pin to your own accounts. Um, and, and exactly what your board covers look like. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you, again, if you're brand new here, please click down below and have me send all the, the five different videos directly to your inbox, as well as the free pin templates that I send out for Canva on day one, the code to embed pins and uh, descriptions in your HTML, HTML I sent out on day two, no, three. Uh, but you'll get all of the content. So make sure to subscribe. And then also, if you like this type of content, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am constantly passing along information as I learn it in my blogging journey. And I can't wait to help you guys too. See you tomorrow, day five. It's our final day. And we are going to share this pin. I'm gonna show you all my best strategies because just pinning it isn't enough. We need now to share it. We need to repin it. We need to do it in a way that doesn't flag us as spam. And that's what day five is all about. See you tomorrow.